Hey guys and girls, in this video we're gonna take a look at the best tablet for drawing. I have made my research and this list reflects my personal opinion and I have listed products based on quality, durability, price, and more. I've included options for every type of consumer so if you're looking for an entry level option or the best product money can buy we may have the product for you in this list. If you want more information and updated pricing on the products mentioned, be sure to check the links in the description down below. The products mentioned are in no exact order, so be sure to stay till the end so you don't miss anything. Also, if you want a chance to win one of the drawing tablets in the video, just subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell and leave a comment with the hidden word in the video. We will pick a winner and notify him when we reach 5,000 likes. And don't forget to join our community telegram channel linked in the description so so we can contact you if you win. Okay, so without further ado, this is our pick of the best drawing tablets on the market right now. Coming at number 10, we've got the Wacom Cintiq 22. Wacom used to essentially have the drawing tablet industry to itself, but in recent years, a ton of challenging brands have appeared to eat into its market share, especially at the lower end. The Wacom Cintiq 22 is unquestionably one of the best drawing tablets you can buy, especially for students who mean business, and despite rising competition, the Wacom name is still very much one to be reckoned with. With a 22 inches display, this tablet is serious with plenty of play space. It features full HD resolution, which is more than enough for the majority of people despite having fewer pixels than some newer, flashier tablets. The Wacom Pro Pen 2, which has 8,192 levels of pressure sensitivity and tilt sensitivity, is what makes the Cintiq 22 such a pleasure to use. Wacom has been around for a while, so it's difficult to imagine an artist having any issues with the Pro Pen 2. Simply put, it functions incredibly well. Since Wacom tablets are essentially the industry standard, learning to use one is a very good first step for students and individuals hoping to break into the field of digital art professionally. Well, this is just something to keep in mind. It doesn't mean you shouldn't look into other tablets. Number 9. XP Pen Artist 16 one of the most well-known brands in affordable drawing tablets is XP Pen, and this 2022 update of a well-liked 15.6 inches tablet received great marks in our most recent review. Our reviewer determined that the tablet has incredibly strong basics after using it to draw for a few months. When it comes to the fundamental sketching experience, everything from the fantastic X3 stylus to the high quality display is really nice indeed. If you're looking for a tablet on a tight budget, this is a great option. There are a few issues though, mainly with what isn't included in the box. While the XP Pen Artist 16 is generally compatible with many operating systems, you'll need to find your own USB-C to USB-C cable if you want to use it with Chromos or Android, which is a little inconvenient. The XP Pen Artist 16 doesn't have its own stand, which is another thing worth noting even though it's not unusual for tablets at this price point. Coming at number 8 Microsoft Surface Pro 8 The current Surface Pro 8 feels far more like a threat to Apple's dominance than previous Surface tablets, which have never quite attained the cachet enjoyed by the iPad line from Apple. Microsoft has definitely put in a lot of effort to make this tablet look like a serious alternative in terms of both looks and performance, and it costs around the same as the new 12.9 inches iPad Pro. Even the entry-level model, which has an Intel Core i5-1135 G7 processor, 8GB of RAM, and a 128GB SSD, has plenty of power. And if that's not enough power for you, there are other more powerful configurations available, but be warned that these will increase the price even more. When we tried it, the display's 2880x1920 resolution and ability to increase the refresh rate to 120Hz impressed us. When combined with the Surface Pen Stylus, which must be purchased separately, this makes it extremely responsive. The fact that this tablet runs Windows 11 is also a huge plus because it allows you to use complete desktop versions of programs like Photoshop rather than fiddling about with tablet apps. Coming at number 7 Wacom Intuos Pro Ideal conditions for working on a drawing tablet include enough workspace and a pen that feels much like one you might use on paper. In that scenario, you should choose the Wacom Intuos Pro Large, which offers the most authentic digital drawing experience. 
The PENS 8192 levels of pressure sensitivity make it feel as close to using an actual pen as you can get, even though its drawing area isn't the largest you can get. Wacom's extensive ecosystem of alternative pens and texture sheets supports all of this and more to give your drawing surface a unique feel. If the pricing is a bit high and you're prepared to work with a smaller screen, you might want to think about the Intuos Pro Medium or in Chulos Pro Small. These two tablets have smaller work surfaces, but similar capability to the larger model. Number 6. HUION Inspiroy H430P Even though it costs less than the product dubbed the greatest drawing tablet for the money, the HUION Inspiroy H430P is the ideal one for people new to the world of technology and art. New users can benefit from high-quality work at a fraction of the cost of high-end equipment thanks to the tablet's compact size and outstanding pen, which is supplied with the device. Despite its diminutive size, this device has four fast keys at the top of the active area, allowing you to quickly access the tools you use the most frequently. Additionally, the PW201 pen with 4096 levels of pressure sensitivity is included with this drawing tablet. The pen compensates for its lack of tilt function by being pressure sensitive. So if you're looking to ease into electronic drawing, this could be just what you need with a cheap price of $35 when it's not on sale. Coming in at number 5 XP Pen Deco Pro Medium. The XP Pen Deco Pro is a great option to explore if you're looking for a less expensive alternative to Wacom's Intuos Pro. It costs approximately a third as much as the Intuos Pro, and truthfully, it shows in some places. It lacks the quality feel of Wacom, and the software drivers can be clumsy, but overall, it offers a good drawing experience. The tablet comes with a smooth drawing surface, a pen with 8,192 levels of pressure sensitivity, and an award-winning overall design. As our XP Pen Deco Pro review attests, this isn't just a cheap knockoff, it's a premium knockoff, and if you're an artist on a budget, it definitely merits consideration. Coming at number 4, Huion Canvas 22 Plus. You've been eyeing up the Wacom Cintiq 22 further up the page but can't quite stretch to the price. The Huion Canvas 22 Plus comes handy. Although it costs a lot less than the Cintiq, this drawing tablet is nevertheless of high quality and has a stunning, sizable display. 16 to 9 and full HD resolution are used. The main selling point is that it's created from etched anti-glare glass rather than having an anti-glare film. As a result, it feels incredibly lovely to draw on and offers a sketching experience that is tactile and clearly analog. This tablet is particularly outstanding with its anti-parallax construction, 140% sRGB coverage, and capacity to reproduce 16.7 million colors. The pen that comes with it is generally good and will get the job done, albeit it's a little basic and only comes with one kind of nip. In overall, this Huion tablet is a good buy, especially when compared to competition at this price point from the likes of XP Pen. It offers better color coverage and a generally better sketching experience. Number 3 Apple iPad Air The Apple iPad Air is the most recent model of the iPad Air, and it is an absolutely gorgeous tablet. It is equipped with an Apple M1 silicon chip, the new generation of CPUs turning the company's laptops, desktop computers, and tablets into virtual powerhouses. The M1 chip, a 2360 by 1640 IPS LCD display with 264 pixels per inch, and a maximum brightness of 500 nits are all features of of the fifth generation iPad. It has unmatched power. The Apple iPad Air's compatibility with the Apple Pencil 2 gives it one of the best drawing experiences on the market, making it one of the best drawing tablets you can buy. Coming at number 2 iPad Pro 12.9 inches. If having the finest sketching tablet isn't sufficient for you and you need to have the best tablet overall, there's really only one option, the most recent 12.9 inches M1 iPad Pro. The iPad Pro gives the best of all worlds. It's ahead of the rest of the tablet market by such a wide margin that it's not even funny. The iPad Pro includes an incredibly bright mini LED XDR display with local dimming for astounding contrast, as well as Apple's lightning fast M1 CPU for absolutely remarkable performance. When you combine the two, you get a nearly perfect all-in-one solution for both making digital art 
and displaying it to its fullest potential. Why then is it not our number one choice in light of all this? It does, after all, depend on your needs. If you only require a drawing tablet and won't use the iPad Pro 12.9 inches as many other functions, it probably isn't worth the price and a specialized tool like those mentioned above would provide better value for your money. But if otherwise, do not lose sight of the fact that this tablet is unquestionably one of the best for drawing overall now available on the market. Number 1. Zensilabs Pen Tablet Medium Bundle We believe that the Zensilabs Pen Tablet Medium is the greatest drawing tablet available right now because it achieves the ideal mix of power, design, portability, and pricing. Being relatively new to the market, Zensilabs has a number of former Wacom employees on their staff who have contributed their expertise in tablet design to this newer company. The texture of a drawing tablet surface is one of its most crucial components, and the Zensilabs Pen Tablet Medium nails it. The level of bite against the pen feels just right, as we noted in our ecstatic 5-star review of the tablet, and it makes drawing on the tablet quite gratifying. Having two styluses included is wonderful since you can set them up for different functions to facilitate easy switching and a fluid workflow. The pressure and tilt sensitivity are also nearly ideal. Although the tablet is reasonably priced and provides excellent value, Zensilabs also produces a smaller version if the price is out of your financial range. That brings us to the end of our review and buyer's guide for the best drawing tablets. Hope to see you in the next video. Let us know in the comments what is your favorite one. And if you like this content, don't forget to subscribe and get notified when we launch new videos. Thanks for watching. Peace.